Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Arizona Sundogs TV, your destination for everything Arizona Sundogs. I'm Jordan Duvall, your host. With me here, my co-host Shane Ferraro. Got another action-packed episode for you and Shane, let's talk about the Sundogs play of late right now. Uh, not where they want to be in the standings, uh, just past the halfway point of the season. The Sundogs are in eighth place in the Southern Conference, but still very much within striking distance of that fifth and final playoff spot in the South. And uh, the Sundogs have been pretty busy lately making transactions, uh, trades, pickups, signings. Um, they've had some injuries and they've had to fill in the lineup a little bit uh, with some patchwork uh, roster moves. Uh, but so let's take a look at some of the moves that they've made. Yeah, one of the big things that head coach and general manager Marco Pietraniero is doing is he's not sitting by the wayside. It's very important for a team to make those adjustments if they want to improve, and they've done that recently with a couple of signings. First and foremost, they sent forward Jason Reese to the Wichita Thunder in exchange for Marc Bellager. Uh, he's 6'2", 210. Uh, won a Division Three national championship at St. Norbert College in Wisconsin. So he's been a part of a winning culture. He knows what he needs to do. Uh, you know, they were struggling down in Wichita, so I know he's excited to get back here and yep. be in a hunt for a playoff spot. So uh, big signing there, and hopefully he'll fill in one of the voids that we need. Another trade, the Sundogs completed an earlier move where they made a trade with the Missouri Mavericks, sending Carl Salon for future considerations. And they complete that trade by bringing over a guy who's been fantastic at this level in net. Doug Grunestej, uh, he's a big goaltender at about 6'3". He comes into the Sundogs last year with the Oklahoma City Blazers, one of the best goaltenders in the league. He had a 24-6-4 record, a 2.1 goals against average. That was uh, tops in the CHL. And he was also an, a finalist for the CHL's Most Outstanding Goaltender Award. So Arizona's really hoping that he can shore up their position uh, between the pipes. And one thing you had mentioned earlier is the Sundogs have dealt with their share of injuries this year. Probably one of their most injury-ridden seasons to date, yep. uh, especially on the defensive end. So they've brought in a big signing, no pun on words, uh, in Andrew Winnick, 6'4", uh, 224. Uh, actually, the older brother of Daniel Winnick, who plays down in Phoenix with the Coyotes, uh, he's already scored with the Sundogs, uh, so he's doing well, has a fantastic shot, and has some of that size on the defensive end that maybe the Sundogs have lacked early on. So uh, Marco's making those moves he needs to, and, and, and they're hopefully going to pay off. And another recent signing, the Sundogs just announcing that they have added uh, forward Chad Hins as well to the lineup. And he's a guy who has a lot of experience at the American Hockey League level. He's played 309 games at that level. Also a member of Oklahoma City last year, he scored 53 points in 54 games. Um, so a guy who, again, with a proven track record, Sundogs are really hoping that he can come in, bring some depth to the lineup, you know, add some scoring from top to bottom so it's not just one or two lines producing, but having all those lines uh, contribute as well. So, so a lot of big signings right now, and that's the main priority for the Sundogs, is to make a push for those playoffs. Yeah, obviously the record is not where you want it to be. Uh, eight games below 500. But what you need to focus on now in the second half of the season specifically is making a run towards those playoffs. Just a couple points back of uh, the fifth and final playoff spot in the Southern Conference. So that's really where the focus is for the Sundogs now. The record kind of gets pushed back. If you can get yep. above 500, great. But if not, you can still make the playoffs being below 500. And right now, all their goal is is to cut those points back and catch up with that fifth place team and hopefully secure that final playoff spot. Well, it'll be interesting to see how it plays out. That's for sure. Like we said, uh, just above 20 games left. So it's certainly every game, every two points is uh, critical for the Sundogs right now, no doubt about it. We're going to go ahead and take our first break. When we come back here on Sundogs TV, the Arizona Sundogs players took some time out to go bowling for kids' sake, spending some time with the local big brother, big sister. Stay with us here on Sundogs TV. My name is Jason Visser. I'm number nine of the Arizona Sundogs. I think what makes hockey such an amazing sport is the level of physicality. We hit, we skate hard, we fight, we play for each other. If something's going wrong, we stick together. If someone's getting hit or hurt, we stick together, we stick up for each other. And that's what makes hockey such an amazing game to play. Experience the excitement of Sundogs hockey. Tickets start at just $14 and group discounts are available. Contact the Arizona Sundogs at 772-5555. 